So X30 Juniors out on track. We've got 26 runners in this one. Let's try and get you through the grid. Uh, apologies if I skip forward ahead of the graphic uh, to try and get through all of these. Oh, someone's gone off. That might help. Uh, Jude Fernhoff. I shouldn't say that. Joshua Torpy in second. Uh, Thomas Mills and Christian Brooks on row two. Row three is Charles Betts and Nathan Clifford. Jack Sherwood and Jensen Buckingham on row four. Row five and rounding up the top ten uh, is Lucas Ellingham. And Jerome Phillip, Austin Byrne and Tyler Reed on row six. Row seven is Oliver Henwood and Caden McQueen. Points leader coming into today in this class. 15th and 16th row eight is Charlie Field and Louis Johnston. Cool, Vish Vishal Patel, Alexander Johnson on row nine. Row ten is Lorenzo Cordell and Samuel Hawthorne. Then it's Finley Dunn, Lucas Romanek, Rihanna Reagan, Drew Davidson, Rashan Chigorimbo and Charlie Richardson as they go into oblivion for the first time. Uh, full start. Oh, after rushing through the grid, it's a full start. That's not right. Right, as they come through, and oh, there. Uh, that was uh, Joshua Torpy getting uh, wheels on the grass there, heading up to Christmas Corner. They're still looking like they're racing, but it is definitely being called a full start. Being shown around the circuit, Post C was certainly showing uh, a full start flag. Uh, I have to say, timing's not showing a full start. No, there is the full start flag, definitely out there. The green flag with the yellow downward pointing chevron as they all come through the boot they'll see it this time around yeah there we go right now we're going to uh, full start eventually honest, they'll get the message uh, that it's been called a false start So, right, I'm going to go through the, at least the top part of the grid a little bit more calmly now. Jude Fernerhoff is your pole sitter in the 53. Then the 70 of Joshua Torpy, Thomas Mills and Christian Brooks on row two. Charles Betts and Nathan Clif Clifford on row three. Row four is Jack Sherwood and Jensen Buckingham. There's Lucas Ellingham and Jerome Phillip to round out your top ten. Austin Byrne and Tyler Reed on row six. Row seven is Oliver Henwood and Caden McQueen, who, as I say, is the points leader in this class coming into today. Row eight, Charlie Field and Lewis Johnson. Cool. Uh, Vishal Patel and Alexander Johnston on row nine. Row ten, Lorenzo Cordell and Sam Hawthorne. Finley Dunn and Lucas Romanek on row 11. Row 12, Rihanna Reagan and Drew Davidson. And then Rashan Chigarimbo and Charlie Richardson round out your 26 runners. There we go. We got through it calmly. <laughs> calmly, folks. Thank you very much for joining us for this coverage of round five of WMKC. Here we go then with the restart of heat number one or the second attempt of at the start. Good start there from Jude Fernerhoff. Covers off any attack going into oblivion. It's paid dividends because it's Fernerhoff who leads them up the straight towards Christmas corner. Josh Torpy though looks like he's been taken by uh, that looks to me like um, uh, that's 21. That's Thomas Mills from third on the grid has got himself up to second. He's now challenging Fernerhoff into Ashby. But nothing on there, and it's still Fernerhoff leading through Wilkins and down towards Ozias. There's a warning for Caden McQueen, and there for the lead of the race goes Thomas Mills in the 21 through at Ozias. Nice move, and Josh Torpy's followed through as well. So now it's Thomas Mills from Joshua Torpy, and Fernerhoff there dropping back. I think some some more, as if you lose the momentum in sprint racing, you often lose quite a few places so Thomas Mills in first Josh Torpy in second Charles Betts has got up to third then it's Jude Fernerhoff uh, Tyler Reed in fifth Lucas Ellingham Nathan Clifford and look at this challenging for third place that's Jude Fernerhoff versus Charles Betts but Charles Betts uh, no sorry that's Tyler Reed excuse me getting up to fourth place past Jude Fernerhoff in the, uh, the 27 then now ahead of the 53 so Tyler Reed now in that blue and fluorescent yellow up into fourth place and behind them I think Ch Caden McQueen is on a charge there the 42 now uh, up to at least seventh place if not sixth so look out for Caden McQueen there he is in the bright yellow helmet and the orange details on his race suit coming through and I'm pretty sure he's got past Nathan Clifford at least on that lap yes he has in fact Nathan Clifford uh, drops down a couple of places because Christian Brooks gets past as well so we're now looking at Lucas Ellingham in the 96 leading Caden McQueen and then is the 82 of Christian Brooks there. Through Ashby corner. And that to me looks like Caden McQueen 
trying any which way to get past Lucas Ellingham. He's going to go down the inside at Oziers, and indeed he does. Caden McQueen, as I say, championship points leader, moving into this one and now gives his uh, now gives a gesture to say, "Come on, let's work together and get on up to the next bunch." This is a contact warning for Finley Dunn, running in 11th place. He's in a battle at the moment with Sam Hawthorne and um, uh, Christian Brooks. Thomas Mills leads then, one and a half seconds to the good, ahead of Josh Torpy. Charles Betts in third, Tyler Reed in fourth, fifth is Jude Fernahau. Fernahau, excuse me, and Caden McQueen uh, is the person we've been watching having a charge. Here he is now trying to get onto the back of Fernahau. the back straight so this is Josh Torpy at the head of this one this is the battle of a second place you can see that was your leader just at the bottom of the shot and here is Josh Torpy under pressure from Charles Betts and Charles Betts has got through so Betts through and up into second no it's not Charles Betts excuse me it's Tyler Reed. so there were changes earlier on in the lap there for uh, for that so Tyler Reed now up to second place and Josh Torpy now looking behind him at Charles Betts meanwhile behind them Caden McQueen getting past Jude Fernerhoff into Christmas corner there's Thomas Mills at the front, Tyler Reed in second, Josh Torpy in third, Charles Betts in fourth, and Caden McQueen now in fifth, past Jude Fernerhoff, and I think actually uh, Lucas Ellingham has got past Fernerhoff as well, and then Caden McQueen's got past uh, the 87 of Charles Betts, and Betts is out on the grass, and that means he's going to lose out to Ellingham, Hawthorne, and Brooks, I think, uh, towards the back there. Uh, uh, sorry, and Fernerhoff. So expensive few corners that for Charles Betts. Thomas Mills leads, the gap now three seconds, Tyler Reed, Josh Torpy, Caden McQueen up to fourth, Lucas Ellingham, Sam Hawthorne, Jude Fernerhoff and Charles Betts, your top eight, and here against Josh Torpy goes Caden McQueen up the inside and also trying up the inside and getting the job done goes Lucas Ellingham, good opportunism there, read the situation well did Lucas Ellingham and is now past Josh Torpy, but now going on, oh everyone's trying to get past Josh Torpy, I feel very sorry for him now. Sam Hawthorne, Jude Fernhoff, everybody trying to get by. There's yellow flags. and Oh, my goodness me. That's quite a way to have gone off there. That's the 43 of Rihanna Reagan. Wow. That's a, that's a big incident that's taken them that far off track. I have seen that happen before. As it's raining. It's raining again. That might explain it. Rain is coming down here. You can see it now on the cameras. Oh, dearie me, it's a repeat of what we saw in the X30s, and this is going to make it extremely difficult for the drivers out there. Three minutes left on the clock. You can see how wide they just went at the final corner. Slippery surface flag out. Trying to work out who else this is. Uh, I think it's uh, Charles Betts or Vishal Patel are involved with Rihanna Reagan out there. Look at it. Someone just went very wide onto the grass there. Oh, goodness me. And there's another one going off. Uh, that looked to me like it might have been... Is that Lucas Ellingham? Uh, no, it's the 91. Is it Charlie Richardson? There's several of them off at Christmas Corner, actually. Really challenging conditions once again here. And this is not what we expected. I, oh, I can't tell. Has Ty Thomas Mills held on to it? I think he has, yeah. He's still out there. I just saw him out the window. So Thomas Mills there holding on to it. Caden McQueen in second. And then third is Tyler Reed, who gets second place back from Caden McQueen. Here they are battling through the slippery conditions. We've got a driver off onto the grass. I'm looking for who's dropping down the order here. Charlie Richardson, we saw the 91 off circuit. Charles Betts, sorry, I think it was who we saw having an incident from quite high up and getting off onto the grass. There, we've got a driver off there as well at the top of the hill. Yellow flags in a lot of places around the lap. Gaden McQueen managed to get second place back off Tyler Reed there. You can now see the... Uh, oh, there's the 95 of Vishal Patel. Helping, getting a helping hand off one of the marshals there uh, to get back onto the circuit. Wow, okay. So actually, I think many of them have been able to guide their carts around successfully in those conditions, but certainly... Um, the likes of Austin Bird. Oh, and that's another one off at Christmas Corner. It's the kind of helmet that should be distinctive enough for me to know. I'm afraid I don't know who that driver is. Um, I think our cameraman's going to start feeling a little bit at risk up there at this rate. 
uh, as the driver drags the cart out. We'll now try and get it back onto circuit. Oh, and there's a, a spin there as well. For oh, was that for our? Was that the leader? That was the leader. That was Thomas Mills having a moment there, and that's cut down all of the gap that he had. Oh, dearie me, he's going to need to get right back onto the pace here. Trying to make out who it was who we saw out on the grass. Charles Betts had a very slow uh, first sector, so it may have been he who we saw. I uh, didn't think that was Charles Betts' helmet, though, if I'm perfectly honest. But I'll keep an eye on timing. And uh, change, change for the lead. Katie McQueen there has got past the recovering Thomas Mills for the lead of the race. This is dramatic stuff here. The leader has spun at Christmas. It's Thomas Mills, and he's been passed, having got underway again. Caden McQueen to the head of the field. Thomas Mills in second, and Tyler Reed still holding on for third. Ration, uh, sorry, Josh Torpy still circulating in fourth. This has been called as the last lap. Lucas Ellingham in fifth. Drew Davidson in sixth. Christian Brooks, uh, Rashan Chigarimbo. Finley Dunn is dropping down the order. I wonder if it was him. This is so difficult to uh, to keep the carts on in these conditions. Everyone's just teasing these carts around the, cir the circuit. But this is your leader, Caden McQueen, the points leader coming into today. It'll actually look like quite a regular normal result <laughs> on the results, but it was nothing, it was anything but that. Here he is coming into the boot. Caden McQueen is going to round the boot, hopefully. <laughs> Nothing's nailed on. In, in this race is it but here he comes round paddock corner Caden McQueen will take the wet line round paddock corner to take the win what a race and uh, Thomas Mills there under close attentions from Tyler Reed but he's able to hold on it's Caden McQueen Thomas Mills Tyler Reed and then through the final corner Josh Torpy finishes fourth Lucas Ellingham in fifth Drew Davidson in sixth Rashan Chigarimbo manages to take Christian Brooks at the end and we've got a driver off in the boot as well Oh, and here they are, this contact, because they're all sliding through the final corner. It's going to be very close at the end. And that is the 78 of Jack Sherwood plummeting down the order. Oh, disappointment for him. Let's give you the order then. Caden McQueen wins. Thomas Mills in second. Tyler Reed in third. Josh Torpy in fourth. Lucas Ellingham in fifth. Drew Davidson in sixth. Rashan Chigarimbo seventh. Eighth for Christian Brooks. Samuel Hawthorne in ninth. Tenth for Charlie Field. Jude Fernerhoff in eleventh. Lorenzo Cordal, Jerome Phillips, uh, Phillips, excuse me, Alexander Johnston, Finley Dunn, Jensen Buckingham, Nathan Clifford, Austin Byrne, Lucas Romanek, Lewis Johnson, Cool. He rounds out the top twenty. Oliver Henwood, Charlie Richardson, Jack Sherwood. I think will be classified in twenty third. Charles Betts, we saw having a very uh, far off excursion at Christmas Corner. He was certainly one of them. Vishal Patel, uh, we saw off as well at the top, and then Rihanna Reagan. Uh, her race ended in the pit lane. Well, wow. Um, <laughs> sorry, folks. I realise I wasn't able to call everybody who was involved in uh, the trials and tribulations of the wet there, but that's because it was all happening so quickly. And uh, I'm afraid I've not got a... I can't see Christmas Corner from my vantage point. Uh, but, uh, wow, dramatic stuff there. And the rain is still coming down.